Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jessica and if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel down below. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and sometimes more. And also while you're down there, make sure to hit that little notification bell because it will notify you every time that I upload. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> so for today's video, guys, I have another hair video. This time it is a review on the new Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula with Vitamin E. Coconut Oil Two-Step Hair Mask. Locks in moisture for long-lasting results for dry, damaged, or color-treated hair. Formulated with ethically and sustainably sourced ingredients. So, if you guys would like to see how this mask performs on my hair, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay guys, so we're just going to hop right into this mask. This is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Two-Step Hair Mask. There's step one, it says restore shine and deep conditions. And then there is step two that says it seals the, cuter, seals the cuticle for five minute results. So on the back it says beautiful, beautify strands with this deeply hydrating conditioner that locks in the moisture for days longer than other conditioners. Step one is a hydrating deep conditioner that restores shine and deep conditions. Step two seals the cuticle for long lasting results and prevents dryness in the days following your wash. It says direction, step one, apply to strands, do not rinse to restore condition and shine. Step two, apply directly after step one, then rinse to seal cuticle. Okay, doesn't seem too complicated. Trying to see the ingredients. Uh, water, coconut extract. I don't see any protein in this. Yeah, I don't see any protein. This might be protein free. So. That's exciting. Um, also guys, if I seem a little bit low energy, it's because I have really bad back pain right now. Um, it is really, really messing with me right now. So if I seem a little bit low energy, I apologize, but that is why. So, um, but I really wanted to film this video for you guys. So here we are. So I just washed my hair today using the, um, what you would call it? Cream of Nature Pure Honey um, Shampoo and then my Aussie 3 Minute Miracle um, Moist uh, Conditioner and I just use those two in the shower. I use the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle to detangle my hair in the shower and this is where we're at right now. So I'm just going to do a quick little detangle through my hair because it has been in the towel for a few minutes because I had to set up to get ready to film and everything like that so I'm going to put up this side of my hair in a little clip and let's go ahead and get started um this said to apply step one I mean step two right after step one so I'm wondering if I should just go ahead and do it at the same damn time so I think I will because I know there'll be comments where like it didn't work for you because you didn't listen to the directions. So I'm gonna listen to the directions. <laughs> so I'm just going to um it doesn't say to apply to damp hair or not, right? It doesn't. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm just gonna part my hair into some not super tiny sections, but just small enough sections. So, ah! Oh no, my back, my back, my back. Ugh, I dropped it. Okay. Step one, it says restore shine and deep conditions. It smells like a lot of Palmer's products. It smells like coconut. Oh, got some on my nose. It smells good. I'm not mad at it. So. This feels nice. 
I'm not going to use too much for section because I only have that little thing. So, um, yeah. I'm going to apply that. And then I'm going to apply step one on a step two, I mean. It doesn't really feel any different. It doesn't really feel... I mean, it feels good, but it doesn't feel like super hydrating or anything like that. It just feels like I put conditioner in my hair, like not anything like super special. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't say whether or not to apply on damp hair, so I'm just going to dampen my hair just a little bit. <laughs> so that we can see, but I didn't even think about that. But let's try with this section. I'm using a little bit. It's pretty thick as well. It's like a thick, creamy um, hair mask. I don't want to get any of that. It just says on the directions, apply two strands. Do not rinse. Okay. <laughs> it feels good. And then I'm going to apply step two, which again is thick as well. I don't know guys, I'm not really blown away as of yet, but I guess we'll see with the results. Don't judge a book by its cover, am I right? It does have nice slip though. I won't say that. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of this conditioner and I will be back to show you guys what it looks like in a few minutes. Okay guys, so I have applied all of the conditioner to my hair. I don't know how I feel about it. It didn't like go on like super 
hydrating if that makes sense like if you guys have seen my last video with um the ORS banana and bamboo um conditioner it doesn't feel like that at all like it feels kind of hard so I don't know now it says to rinse out so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will be show you guys I will be back to show you guys what it looks like when it's all rinsed out alrighty guys I am back it's been like literally like five minutes at the most and this is what my hair is looking like once it has been rinsed and guys I have to say I really don't like this conditioner um, my hair doesn't feel super hydrated or like conditioned or anything like that it just kind of feels like meh doesn't feel really good or anything like that it just feels like I used any regular like conditioner nothing that like my hair really needed or really wanted I don't know it's just not not feeling the greatest right now like it feels okay but like I feel like I get better results honestly from my Aussie three minute miracle um, conditioner or the one that I used last week which was the um, banana and bamboo from ORS or even the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil line which you guys know is my favorite this one just really didn't do anything for your girl today and I wish it had like I do know though that my hair does not really respond that well to coconut oil so maybe that has something to do with it maybe it's just that my hair does not like coconut oil and that's why this conditioner didn't work for me but let me know down below if you guys have tried out this conditioner and if it worked for your hair or not it definitely just did not do anything crazy for mine but yeah I love you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoy hair reviews and hairstyle videos definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing down below if you're not already and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one very soon love you girls Mwah. bye